congratulations in finishing the year 2021. The two years, 2020 and 2021, have been years of trials and tribulations, but also years of great victories and triumph. The trials and tribulations were on account of the following. The locusts, the floods and rising levels of the waters of the lakes in Arubaire, Choga, Mutanzige, also known as uh, Victoria, Choga, and Albert. Three, the landslides in the mountain areas. Four, the floating islands that were threatening the hydro dams. And five, the coronavirus and its pandemic. Uganda under the NRM has overcome almost completely the four of these. The only exception that we are still struggling with is the corona pandemic. Globally, the corona pandemic one million people. They included prominent persons such as Muzei Chivedinda, Ari Chivedinda, Muzei Poro Etiang, Manz Tumbwene, Bishop Kagwa, ETC. May the Almighty God bless them in eternal peace.
the tough measures we took were in order to buy time so that we find better solutions. We didn't take these measures so that we stay like that. No. This was a surprise attack by this enemy, and we had to lie low, buy time, so that we, we see how to fight better. And the initial way was to avoid scatter people, scatter people so that they are not concentrated. We think now we have found some solutions of how to deal with this virus. The following are the solutions in addition to some of the pre preventive measures we have been taking. Number one, vaccinating the 22 million Ugandans above the age of 18 years of age, starting with the 4.8 million most vulnerable persons. Within those 4.8 million, we have got 3.3 .3 million above the age of 50 years. You have got 550,000 teachers. You have got 150,000 health workers. You have got 250,000 security personnel. And 500,000 people below the age of 50, but with comorbidities, e.g. diabetes, blood pressure, etc. Up to today, total doses administered are 11 type of, of the various vaccine types or the one vaccine of the Johnson and Johnson. Of the 22 million people, 45 percent, i.e. 9, almost 10 million of the target population, have received at least one shot of, of the vaccine, and 17 percent have been fully vaccinated. The language these days is short, jabs, what, 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 but what they mean is empiso, uh, jab, 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 uh, short. They mean echikatu banangi, empiso. That's what they mean, jab, 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 short. As of today, we have received a total of 20.7 million vaccine, vaccine types that need two doses to cover one person, and 12 million of the single dose Johnson & Johnson. So you can see that we are not bad off because with the 20 million uh, where you need two doses, 20 million, 21 million more or less, you can cover 10 million people because each person takes two doses. Then with this Johnson, Johnson, 12 million, that's one one. So that's already 22 million. Uh, this means that we have already used 21 million doses, and what we have, but have not used, have the capacity to vaccinate 8.5 million 
of millions of people or to cover 6.1 million people due to the second dose. We are expecting another 7.3 million double dose vaccines, which can vaccinate 3.5 million people, able to vaccinate 3.65 million people, and another 3.7, approximately Johnson and Johnson, able to vaccinate a similar number. Therefore, all the Ugandans above 18 years of age go out and be vaccinated. And Piso Katuwezili Mugende Baba Geme. If Katuwezili Mugende Baba Tsirike Ukserka. Nataka nyinyi wote muende mpate sindano. Sindano yuko ya kutosha. Ikina moja natakua yende apate sindano ya kuzuia ugonjwa huu. Because yeah. you remember when the corona started, our solution was to run away. <laughs> Ukuduka. Now, our solution is no longer to just run, but one of the solutions is vaccination for the 22 million people who are above the age of 18. Number two, in order to ensure safety against corona, the scientists have now recommended a booster dose for those above the age of 50 years. These are 3.3 million. Therefore, the 50 years old plus persons that have already received two doses come out again for the booster dose. I will soon be going out for mine. And, and Mama here, we, 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 shall, we, shall, we, shall, we shall be there for, for, the, for the booster. Because they are saying we need the booster now. Okse Samu knows the Kikavandi is a Muslim on the Mizaf. Okse Samu, Okwenejaza. Which cartoon can Okwenejaz? When the fire is about to, to go down, then you, 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 you stock it. Number three, those who get suspicious signs of running nose, headache, tiredness, which could be mild to severe, sneezing, scratch or sore throat, muscle aches, quickly report to the nearest health facility so that you get treatment. Using some drugs, that boost immunity and that control fever, anti-inflammatory drugs, antipyretic like Panadol, those that also control inf inflammation. Some, some have antiviral capacity and some have antibiotic capacity. The patients will recover. If you use a combination of these drugs, the patient will recover. Early diagnosis and treatment is therefore crucial. But for you to recover, you need early diagnosis and, and treatment. Why? Late diagnosis and treatment may suppress the virus. However, the virus will have damaged your internal organs, such as lungs, heart, pancreas, brain even, and nerves. So the virus may go, but it will go when it has already uh, knocked out 
many of you are internal, very crucial organs. The, vi the virus will go, but the patient may not survive because the internal organs would have been irreparably damaged. I have had a number of cases who have uh, died like that. I, uh, I have some people whom, whom I, 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 I know. Number four, Ugandan scientists and the community the latter, through their ancient knowledge of the environment, have discovered substances that seem to cure corona and other viral diseases. I have interviewed many patients that have been cured, that they said that say they have been cured. Dr. Guang is now trying out the medicine in a clinical setting. We have told Dr. Guang, please take these patients in a, 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 a hospital where, where all doctors are and they monitor how the substance has handled uh, uh, the, the, the disease and the patients. We shall know the results of this clinical trial by May 2022. This would be a pathfinder in terms of medical care. It would be a landmark. On account of those factors, we now intend to fully reopen the economy as well as educational and social activities in some staggered manner. We shall therefore take the following measures as indicated below. Number one, the transport sector, which has been operating at 50%, will be opened fully, but with the necessary SOPs, such as the wearing of masks, towing around a motor car, yabantu wona, toyamba de akantukano. Akashankar, nzengikaita akashankar, umur ganda wakaita watia. but such as wearing of the masks, full vaccination by both the crew of the public service vehicle and the travelers. Omo abasabaze barnokuba bamara dokugemewa mubujuvu if they are above the age of of 18. That should not cause confusion. Do, don't stop school children from traveling, saying that they are not vaccinated. Those ones, the ones below 18, are not supposed to be vaccinated. But the ones, even the students who are 18 and above, should be vaccinated fully. So these days, which, which are starting, please, all of you children who want to go back to school, who are 18 and above, go and be vaccinated. Now, I don't know, of course, if you have not been vaccinated at all, if you get one, 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 one shot, I think the Minister of Health will study that and advise. Because some of the 18-year-olds may not have even had the first shot. The first, and I'm also talking your language, short, short, jab, first. They may not have had the first injection. Uh, so the Minister of Health would have, uh, would have to handle that. But you can see the strategy. The strategy is we travel in the public service vehicle, a bus or a, a taxi. We are all fully vaccinated and we have masks. And we don't use air conditioning in the, in the car. We use uh, uh, the open air. We open the windows. You can see uh, there is some plan there. It's not just uh, to, to, to Maragagenda. Uh, 
we are, we are going, but with, with, with some precautions. The cinema halls and sports events to be allowed to open with the SOPs. They will have to announce them. The Minister of Education and uh, the, the ones of culture, they will have to announce the details. Stadiums, are you going to have full stadium? Are you going they, they will give you the details. Number three, pre-primary, primary and secondary schools will be opened for learners starting with the 10th of January 2021. The Minister of Education and Sports and the Minister of Health to work out applicable SOPs and communicate them. Four, the performing arts, concerts, bars, and, and discos will be open two weeks after the opening of the schools and with SOPs direct, directed by the Minister of Health. So the Abamabara concerts and Abayimbi, their activity will start two weeks after the opening of, the, of schools. Because we want to, to, to first finish with the opening of schools and then we, 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 we deal with, with the, the other groups. Number five, curfew will be lifted for everybody at the time of opening for the performing arts, but not for the border borders. So after the schools have opened, two weeks, performing arts uh, start, start, uh, start uh, fu functioning, operating, that's when we, we end the curfew. That's why we end the curfew. For everybody except border borders. Border borders of Anangi, Mutsonye, the Viamu Vingi, Songaza, the border border Nyingi. The border borders will continue to observe the of 1900 hours, that is 7 o'clock, to 500, 530 hours. Shahe Muyichiro to Shaha Ikumi. You know the Europeans, they call night, they call it morning. <laughs> and, we also, and we also call it morning, you can imagine. Uh, the the, the Sawamukaga, Muyichiro. Abazungu bagamba nti nti kumacha nafini tugendera onto kumacha but the curfew is sa kutoka sa moja ya usiku mpaka sa 11 na nusu ya usiku because that's the night it is a night until until morning some of these measures will be reversed. Some of these measures may be reversed. If COVID-19 high, de high dependence and intensive care units bed occupancy exceeds 50%, and if the daily rate of the hospitalization for severely and critically ill patients is sustained at 30 per day for five days in two or more COVID treatment units, this is the advice from my scientists, that if we see that uh, what, what they call the ICU, intensive care, intensive care uh, beds, units, beds, if we see they are occupied and the high dependency, which is another, not, not, like the, not as severe, but serious, if we find that patients are feeling 50, percent, then we should have, we may have to do something about some of the measures, especially the transport ones and so on. And our friends, the, 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 the bad people. And, and other groups. 
The intensive care unit, uh, ICU beds in government hospitals are 187. And the HD, HDU, high dependency units, beds are 475. The total coronavirus beds are 3,100. Recently, they have been empty because we have not been having cases. The ministries of education and sports, health and transport and works will give detailed plans for their opening of their of the respective sectors. To take one example, when all the learners were made to travel on the same day, there was a lot of congestion in the bus parks and the car parks. It may be wiser to start with S1 to S3 for some days and then the rest later. The ministry will give detailed guidance and so will the other ministries for the other sectors. I need, however, to add that you, you, you as a person, you should be answerable also for the safety of your life. Don't think that it's the government to keep uh, say, oh, don't, 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 don't be sick, don't die. No, 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 no. This cannot go on. We must take personal responsibility for our, our, our safety, for our health. If, for instance, you are among the elderly, why do you travel? Why not stay at home? Why do you have to go to the bars, even if they are open? Even church and mosque attendances. I have never been convinced that God is only in the churches or mosques. Pray at, pray at home. Rahanga, aliu mianya yona yona. That's what I learned in the Catechism in 1957. God is omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. Omnipresent means he's everywhere. I didn't go to church, my mom and myself didn't go to church on, on, on Christmas. We stayed here. Our, our church is near here, but we said, mm, this is not, uh, uh, there's, there's, the book of, of Ecclesiastes says there is time for everything. There is time for everything. This is really a time for avoiding congregating if, if, if you can. Although we are opening the economy and the social activities as pointed out above, you should be alerted that the new corona vari variant, the Omni Corona, is spreading very fast. The new corona cases per day are now on, on average 1,250 instead of 69 per day. When we had uh, uh, controlled the virus in the month of October 2021. So when we test now, 1,250 are found sick every day instead of the 69. Which, which was the case per day in October when we had controlled the virus. Previously, we had some days when there were no reported corona death, such as on the 11th and the 12th of December 2021. However, recently, I have started seeing reports of death caused by corona per day, such as six deaths on the 27th of December 2021. Therefore, as I said above, be responsible for your life. Here in the State House group, on account of Lakste, we had recently so many cases. In the inner circle of my workers, not less than five were found positive with corona on the 27th of December 2021. That is why we had to postpone the meeting of the Secretary Generals of the political parties. Mama Janet and myself had to, had to have yet another corona test. Fortunately, 
we were negative. Why? Possibly because our workers, while they may be lax, while away from our presence, in our presence, they observe SOPs, masks, sanitizers, etc. I think that's why. This is not the first time. This is like uh, the, the, the five, fifth time, even during the campaign, my workers will go and get infected, in spite of t telling them and what. And then they come just near, near us, but somehow we don't get infected. It must be, that's why I'm thinking that it must be, it may be because of why we're here, even when they, they already have the virus, because of the measures they, they take the mask, that's how I think we get, uh, uh, we get protected. Yeah. Banyankore have a practice of children running to grab adults so as to hug them in greeting. It is called Kutanjira. When, uh, when, when uh, uh, an, uh, 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 an adult comes, the children must run to, 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 to hug him and, and, and greet him. Since the corona outbreak, I stopped our grandchildren from doing this. Judges, although you are vaccinated fully, even with a booster, let the Bazukuru keep a, a, a safe distance from you when they come back from school. Because now the children are going to go to school and come back. Yeah. So how will they relate with the, the judges and the parents at home? Uh -huh. Do not greet them inside rooms. Greet them at a safe distance from you when they come back from school. Do not greet them. Uh, 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 greet them at a safe distance outside in the compound with the wind blowing from you to them and not the, the other way. Don't uh, have these children crowding with you inside, inside the room. No, 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 greet them outside. Uh, and, and be sure that the wind is, uh, see the wind, where the wind is coming from. And the children are where the wind is going and you where the wind is coming from. Inside the house, do not mix. I hope the house has a ceiling so, so that air from the other room does not flow into the other rooms. If it is difficult to manage, take judge to where he or she can be alone with one helper. A combination of vaccination, possibly covid -X, the other anti-corona drugs, such as uh, azithromycin and amoxicillin, the SOPs, and good nutrition, e.g. vitamins such as vitamin C, which works best with zinc, will enable us to sustain our victory against the disease. The other calamities that afflicted us starting last year, 2020, were defeated or tamed. The locusts were defeated totally without causing any damage. The floating islands were removed by the engineers from the Ministry of Works and UPDF. People running away from the landslides and the rising waters of the lakes were given relief and are being resettled. Then we had the problem of crime and terrorism, and in, and in fact, both combined. Bijambia operators killed 26 people in the massacre area. 21 suspects connected to those Bijambias have been arrested and are now in the courts of law. Other isolated crimes we are quickly dealt with. These include the killing of the NRM chairman of
twisted uh, and are uh, in the courts of law. The ADF terrorists had kept quiet since the arrest of Jamir Mukuru now in Zira. However, in June this year, characteristic to their shallow miscalculation, on the orders of their leaders who had made parts of Eastern Congo an area of their control, tried to assassinate General Katumba Wamara. Katumba survived, but his daughter and driver were killed. This was the ADF's greatest mis mistake. They did not know that since my 2018 12 points and crime plan, we had partially upgraded the, our anti-crime infrastructure. With patient analysis, the police identified some of the criminals. We started arresting them, and those who tried to fight during the arrest were killed. Up to now, inside Uganda, a total of 12 of these criminals have been killed, and a total of 113 have been arrested and many of them are in the courts of law. As we were hunting them and arresting them, in their foolishness, they sent a group to Pader to plant a bomb during the body of Lieutenant General Lokech, apparently because Lokech had devotedly hunted them after the attack on Katumba. More of them thus exposing themselves, were arrested, and some were killed. In a rush, they started trying to plant bombs in Kampara. With the police hotel in pursuit, they, implanted, they planted a bomb at Komamboga among the pork eaters, another one in the bus, and, and, uh, and uh, the two on the 16th of November, 2021, one at the CPS and another another one at Parliament Avenue. A total of five Ugandans were killed in these bombs without counting the three bombers who were blown up by their own bombs. On account of the partially improved anti-crime infrastructure, the police knows almost everybody that is involved in these crimes, whether inside Uganda, on the run, or in hiding, or abroad. We know them. We now know all these people. We, we, we have their identity. Their headquarters definitely has been in Eastern Congo for more than 20 years. It is a syndicate of crime circled by the absence of government authority in some parts of Congo. These terrorists have been making money in Eastern Congo and using it to finance terrorism in Eastern Congo by routinely massacring Congolese, orchestrating terrorism within Uganda, and funding terrorism as far afield as Mozambique. It is pathetic to listen to the, to the sick talk of these disoriented young people claiming to be fighting Bakafiri. By Bakafiri, they mean us. Ugandans, in order to make Uganda a country governed by Sharia law. At the right time, we shall publicize this information so that Ugandans can see the tragedy of Africa. We had, of course, met before such sick-minded, confused people in Somalia and on the border with Sudan, Kaya and shown those groups how the people they call Bakafiri can defend the land of their ancestors, Africa. I'm Yoweri Museveni, son of Amos Kaguta, grandson of Kauguma Kanyinantro and Rubaraza, ETC, ETC of the Basita clan, of the Bagahe cluster of clans, and a part of what is now Uganda is the land of my ancestry, and no foreigner or foreign agent 
will ever take this land from the indigenous people of Uganda. So those who like to, to go and be like foreigners, you know that this land has got its owners. We are here. So if you want to be a stooge or whatever you want to be, that's your, your business. Yes, since the 1840s, foreign religions starting with Islam started coming to our area. This part of the Great Lakes. The Protestants came in 1877 and the Roman Catholics in 1879. Immediately, those followers and their enemies and rivalry. Instead of faithfully preaching the core and the good messages of those religions, such as love God with all your might, and love your neighbor as you love yourself, as it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 39. And how can you say you love God, whom you have never seen, but you hate your neighbor? In the book of First John, chapter 4, verse 20. Instead of doing that, instead of, of preaching that wonderful message, that's a very good message, by 1890, these confused actors had divided Uganda into three groups. Bafaransa, <laughs> one group were called Bafaransa, meaning Frenchmen, and these were the Catholics. Bafaransa, people, these people were calling themselves Bafaransa. The second group, Bangereza, Englishmen for, for Protestants. And then the, 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 the Mohammedans, the Muslims. Vicious armed wars were fought among these groups for much of the 1890s. Read the books of Bishop Tucker, Captain Lugard, Kalnokovir, and others, and see the tragedy that was being played out among our people by these confused actors claiming to be working for God. Of course, the original mistake was the failure of our own people, Mwanga, Aporokagwa, Ntare, Mbaguta, Kawarega, ETC, who failed to unite and chase these confused actors. Anyway, this unhealthy rivalry and principled conflicts went on up to the time of independence and beyond. It is the NRM that came to challenge them. Early actors like I.K. Musazi tried un unsuccessfully to unite Ugandans. We are glad that the Ugandans listened to our message and rallied to the standard of the NRM for the last 43 years, starting with 1978 during the anti Amin war when we were recruiting youth in Karagwe and Western Uganda, up to today, uniting around the principles of patriotism, love Uganda, Moyogwa Uganda, love Africa, Pan-Africanism, Moyogwa Africa, social economic transformation, building a first world society away from the pre-capitalist society we inherited in 18, uh, 1986, and democracy which means government by the people, for the people, and of the people. As a consequence of this, of this unity, the economy has grown, the infrastructure has expanded, the population has increased, more people are, are educated, the children are dying less, people are living longer, some families are richer, Everybody has got a telephone or more in his, in his pocket, etc., etc. <coughs> it is this unity, partial prosperity, and general progress that these confused parasites are fighting. 
such groups working for or, or, or with foreigners or taking advantage of some situations are so in mayhem in the different parts of Africa, in Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, Central African Republic, Chad, DRC, Mozambique, Somalia, ETC. This is the context in which the criminal acts of the ADF terrorists find themselves in Eastern Congo and their acts in Uganda. What these traitors forget is that the African Revolution, led by new actors, patriots, and not the traditional chiefs that failed to guarantee our independence from the imperialists, has been in motion since 1912 when the African National Congress of South Africa was founded in the town of Bloemfontein of South Africa. By the 1950s and 1960s, the African resistance had created additional chapters for the first one, to, to the first one of the ANC in South Africa. We should of course not forget the Afro-American chapter led by people like Dubois, and Marcus Garvey, who started the idea of Pan-Africanism, of Pan-African movement. By the 1950s and 1960s, the different chapters of the African resistance were being led by people like Nkrumah, Nyerere, Kaunda, Kenyatta, Sekoture, Modibo Keita, Ben Bella, Gamara Abdunasa, ETC. The Pan-African movement, being part of the global anti-colonial movement, caused the clever imperialists to peacefully withdraw from Africa by granting independence to 36 African states by 1963, when the newly independent African countries met in Addis Ababa to form the Organization of African Unity. The unclever imperialists, such as the Portuguese, Ian Smith, and the South African Boers, thought that they could block the march of African freedom. The various chapters of African patriots moved the Organization of African Unity to declare that if the remaining imperialists did not go peacefully, they would be defeated militarily. The arrogant imperialists thought that this was mere African hot air. By 1993, however, all the imperialists in Africa had been defeated by the coordinated actions of the African freedom fighters in the respective African colonies, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, Angola, Sao Tome and Principe, Zimbabwe, which they were calling Rhodesia, Namibia, and South Africa. Plus, the different chapters of the patriots and pan-Africanists in some of the independent African countries, plus the socialist countries of the USSR, China, and Cuba, ETC, and plus the progressive forces in the West, e.g. Sweden, Norway, Finland, as well as some individuals, such as Lord Fenner Brockway of the UK, the Labour Party, Sir Dingo Foot, ETC. Even, even people like Margaret Thatcher played a positive role toward the end, as did President Jimmy Carter in the Angola crisis of 1976. This shows that once the different chapters of the African patriots cooperate and coordinate, there is no force that can defeat us on the African continent. Therefore, all and sundry should know that once the chapters of the African resistance coordinate, there is no security or defense problem they cannot solve. The recent coordination between the government of the DRC Congo and Uganda is such an example. Starting on the 30th of November, the Uganda People's Defense Forces launched a devastating attack 
on the long established camps of the ADF terrorists. Many of these terrorists were killed. Then, after repairing the Busunga Semriki Bridge Road, the UDF would advance to Semriki Bridge Camp. Out of the Semriki Camp, the UPDF advanced in the forest to the terrorist camp, Kambi Ajua. I don't know whether it is Kambi Ajua or Kambi Ajua. Uh, for me, I call it Kambi Ajua, which they occupied after light resistance. In all these operations, UPDF did not lose a single soldier by enemy action. The two soldiers who died, Private Ruging Nicholas and Private Kapuriaka Mustafa by names, died on account of self-inflicted accident or self-injury. One on account of an RPG that was loaded and cocked and he fell with it in a, in a pit uh, and it blew him, blew him up. And then another one from multiple, multiple grenade launchers fired while in the middle of trees. Uh, they hit the trees and then came back and, 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 and killed, him, killed him. They had not been thoroughly briefed about these, these weapons, using them, especially in a forest area. The terrorists are now fleeing and killing villagers. That will not save them. If the Congolese government allows us, we shall hit them, even if they go up to Kisangani or Buta or beyond. Their only choice is to surrender so that the peoples of Congo and Uganda have peace and they also get to rehab and the, these terrorists also get to rehabilitated and learn how to earn an honest living in the four sectors of commercial agriculture, small industries, services, and ICT, instead of being parasites on the population. Similarly, the numerous security problems in other parts of Africa can be resolved by the different chapters of the African Patriots cooperating. The respective chapters of African Patriots have developed great capacity, much more than the situation in 1974, when the African armies of Mozambique, Angola, and Guinea-Bissau defeated the Portuguese imperialists. I have, I, have heard, I have heard some voices among the Muslims claiming that the Muslims are neglected and that they cannot borrow money because of riba profit or interest, which is haram, a chagaro among the Muslims. The first point is certainly not true. Who built the Islamic University in Uganda? Who liberalized the trade, take, taking government out of trading and the hotel business, where many Muslims businessmen have benefited? How did the successful Muslims come up? It is on account of the peace and, and policies of, brought by the NRM. The story of, of Riba is only half of the story. Yes, Islamic banking has been legalized but not yet operationalized. However, many of the pro poor government programs are not loans but grants. Government of war of we. Operational wealth creation distributed distribution of free seedlings. My, my natural is skilling programs and grants for capital for shoemaking, tailoring, weaving, ETC, managed by my Muslim daughter Farida Mayanja, are not loans, but grants. Where is the river in, in there? I will che I've checked on my exosy programs of Narwanga and I have found that uh, quite a number of Muslims in the Kajumero area uh, benefited from my uh, grants of seedlings, of goats, maybe not pigs because uh, Muslims don't want uh, pigs, haifas, etc. The problem is that some of the spiritual, cultural, and political leaders do not advise their followers to listen to the NRM message of wealth creation and socioeconomic transformation. 
have not had many, polit many political, spiritual, cultural leaders, ETC, supporting my policy of free education for the children of the poor. I'm always shouting, but I do not hear many taking up this struggle. Is free education riba? The economy of Uganda grew last year at the rate of 3.4%, and at the rate of 3.8% this financial year, the corona restrictions are notwithstanding. The greatest point to remember is to end the phenomenon of our correlated Achyonka subsistence farming production, only working for the stomach. Since the 1960s, we have been fighting this phenomenon. By 2013, a whole 68% of the homesteads of Uganda were Abakorechida Chonka, Teach Me Ichikeken. I must salute op the operational education officers that on my orders intervened in distributing inputs of coffee, tea, fruits, etc. You boss has now said that the homesteads of the Abakorechida Chonka are now only 39%. This is the first time in all human history when the majority of Ugandans have joined the money economy. I decided to remove the operational wealth creation from the distribution of seedlings. This success, success is not withstanding. Why? Number one, some of the commanders had gone into the business of having, of having beds for seedlings. They had become businessmen on a personal basis in an effort in which they were supposed to be neutral. Number two, it was, it was becoming unwise for our soldiers to be involved in the distribution of items of government support to the Wanaichi. Arguments about favoritism were becoming ubiquitous. Bega Beraboka was becoming a frequent complaint in public meetings, meaning that the, the uh, our soldiers, we are favor either we are getting the, either we are giving themselves the, the items, or they are giving their relatives. Number three, the soldiers would sometimes take the seedlings, seedlings, dump them at the Gomborola sub county, and leave them there, not bothering whether they will be planted in gardens or left to dry and be lost. In order to remove these areas of misunderstandings, we decided to put the total responsibility in the hands of the stakeholders, the beneficiaries, through the parish development model. The government money will be sent to their circles and they will buy seedlings or whatever they want to buy, provided it is on the list of the recommended crops that are high value and have a market within Uganda, within the region, within Africa, or in the world. We have opted for the owner-controlled formula instead of the program being controlled by public servants, whether soldiers or not. This parish development model is for the former 68% of the homesteads i.e. the 29 Abazukufu, these ones who have just come from sleep, and the 39 percent who are still sleeping. With the 32 percent of the population that were already in the money economy by 2013, we urge them to be more industrial in agriculture, mining, etc., and also do more value addition. Take with the cattle keepers, who semi-modernized by adopting the dairy industry, where milk was commercialized instead of Okorechi da Chonka, as we had done for centuries, and adopting the exotic breeds of Frisian ZTC. This has helped and changed the area completely, this area of where I am, this Nyabshoz area. The other day, Mama Janet and myself we are going to the national task force on corona meeting at a nearby primary school and saw a large of cars at the home. 
it was a marriage or something. Since our campaign of 1966, the former nomads had joined the money economy and all the cars we saw were theirs. However, they would be much richer if they abandoned the free-range method of Xetra to zero grazing. With zero grazing, using planted grass that is cut and fed to the cattle in the shed, one acre will support eight Frisian cattle per, per year. Hence, a square mile will support 5,120 Frisian cattle. With the present free range, you need three acres per adult cow in a year. Therefore, a square mile will only support 200 cattle well. This is, this is wastage, it is underutilization of the land, and stunting our economic growth. Bananas are another example of the need to modernize in order to stop the underutilization of the land we have. The average yield per hectare of bananas is between 5 to 10 tons per year in the villages. Dr. Muranga, however, at Nyaruzinga, she harvests 53 tons per hectare. They say that in Brazil, this need for modernization in production methods, good seedlings, spacing, water retention methods, wind breaks, irrigation, fertilizer use, is not only for cattle and bananas, but also for the, the other crops, uh, like uh, coffee, tea, fruits, Irish potatoes, cassava, vegetables, etc. Finally, on the wider economy, we intend to help the business by lowering the cost of production by, de by dealing with the three cost pushers. The three cost pushers are transport, rail and water, electricity, and the money for, uh, the money for industries, the money for borrowing for industries, <coughs> for agriculture, and some services, e.g. tourism, education for private schools, some of the professional services such as private doctors, engineers, etc. We are determined to build the standard gauge railway from Maraba to Kampala, Kasese, Guru, and Nimule. We are already repairing the old railway line for short-term and medium-term use. We are encouraging private investment in water transport on the lakes, in addition to the expanding the fleet of government ve vessels, such as MV Siguru, MV Buvuma, Arbat Nairo 1, Choga 2, MV Obongi, uh, Miss, Miss Raropi, MV Bissina, MV Masindi, etc. In future, much of the transport for cargo should be by rail and water. On the side of electricity, we are transmitting electricity directly to the industrial parks without going through any middleman. This will cut 37.5% from the cost. The cost of production of electricity for the dams is low as shown below. Narvare, a unit of electricity is produced at 1.19 cents. Kira, at 1.19 cents. Karuma, at 4.97 cents. Isimba, at 4.16 cents. It is only of Jagari that was distorted to use U.S. dollars 8.3 uh, U.S. cents, 8.3 per kilowatt hour. By, by, by passing the middleman, we shall give cheaper electricity to the factories. The high interest rates of the commercial banks is on account of two factors. The commercial banks wanting high profits and not caring about the one inch, and the government, Minister of Finance, giving high price treasury bills to the world in order to borrow from the public. We have discussed this, this distortion. 
we should minimize borrowing by the government. We, each year, pay Uganda shillings 15.16 trillion as a debt repayment, and shillings 4.9 trillion of this is interest, i.e. money that was never used in our country. We now know where the problem of high interest rates is coming from. It will gradually be addressed. Chijomanyi, Chinya Gavitono. The enemy, once you know the, the, the enemy is coming, then that enemy will not uh, do a lot of damage. The corona lockdown has affected some sectors of the economy badly. Such, sector, such, such sectors are entertainment, hospitality, tourism, the private uh, schools, etc. With the opening of the economy, the two sources of the support for such sectors are the parish development model, in case some of the actors want to go back to the villages and to use their land commercially, or, or a myoga. The 18 myoga, The 18 Mioga cover most of the activities of the Ugandan that are non-agricultural. Let us all Ugandans agree with my proposal to put more money in the partial development model and the Mioga. If there are categories that are not covered by a Mioga, such as the bar, of, a bar operators, we shall have to address them separately. Minister of Finance, We'll work on that group. I cannot end this address without highlighting for the Ugandans the little comedy that was played out recently when we had by elections in different parts of Uganda for some local governments, local government positions on the 16th of December 2021. Was it comedy or tragedy? The positions for the by-elections in the whole country were 827. Some were LOC, there was one LOC 5, there were also some LOC 3s, some municipality seats, councillors, ETC. The NRM 1392 of them unopposed with where the NRM had to compete with other parties, plus the unopposed, the NRM won as shown here below as compared to the other parties. Out of the 827, I think, NRM got 678. Independence got 103. DP got seven, UPC seven, NOOP 13, FDC 19. The NRM's direct share of win was therefore 82%. However, many of the independents were also NRM on account of their internal wrangles. Therefore, the pro-NRM sentiment won a total of 94%. The others won as follows. NOOP, 2%. DP, 1%. UPC, 1%. FDC, 2%. The tragic comedy in the affair had three elements. Element number one, for NOOP and their media supporters, including the foreign ones, there was no Uganda but Kayunga. Kayunga, Kayunga, Kayunga. This was the, <laughs> the positions were 827, but Kayunga, Kayunga, Kayunga. The second element was our young people in the persons of Nakwede, Zake, ETC, 
putting it in their heads that they would not allow the old man with the heart, Sabarwani, to peacefully drive from Kampala and address the NLM leaders at Kayonza Church of Uganda Primary School in Bali and at Usana Subcounty Playground. Of course, the police could not allow that. Hence, there were some skirmishes. This is exactly what NUP did in the general elections in some areas and what they were planning to do in the whole, in the whole country if we had not deployed a considerable portion of the UPDF to crush that conspiracy. The idea is to create fear so that the massive supporters of the NLM do not come out to vote. You remember Arua, where they even stoned my car, and Bobby Wine was driving a Greda Tinga Tinga into my convoy. This is self-deception. It cannot work in Uganda. I have given in writing guidelines to the armed forces to firmly and professionally ensure law and order and discipline in our society. I hereby direct our media unit to publicize these guidelines so that the public is also informed and can knowledgeably uh, audit audit the actions of the security forces and inform us if there are departures. Moreover, these guidelines are in line with the standing orders of the police forces, both here and in many other countries. The third element of tragic comedy were the protestations by Noop that Mwange of NRM had won by cheating. I did not know that NRM actors had enough energy to cheat because most of them, most of the time they are asleep and allow the opposition to intimidate people, people cheat ETC. Why only cheat in Kayuga? Why not in the few other areas where NUP won? Kayunga, Buganda, and the whole of Uganda are politically NRM territory. Why? It is because the NLM has done more for those areas than anybody else. The internal weaknesses within NLM notwithstanding. We are handling the internal weaknesses, including corruption. The opportunistic opposition will be wiped out. Those concerned with ballot staffing ETC, why do they never support my plan for only electronic voting with the thumbprints? It is the opposition and their collaborators that always avoid voting electronically. We should amend the law to stop all non-electronic voting. That is what the Democrats should be demanding. I salute all of you and wish you a happy and prosperous 2022.